All right, Jesse on everything. Welcome back to the channel or Jesse on fire. I'm not really sure which channel I'm going to put this on, but this feels like a relevant topic to, to both uh, channels because I'm going to talk about parenting and I'm going to talk about fighting because uh, I don't know if everybody's really aware of this, but I put my daughter in jujitsu like, you know, months and months and months and months and months back. But uh, I didn't just put her in jujitsu as I found out. I put her in uh, one of the top jujitsu schools that cranks out world champions, like child world champions, like in the country, because I think her coach, like I've said in my channel, and other times but her her coach has seven world champions under him seven world champion children and you could just see it at school right anyway point i'm making is i did it not because necessarily i want her to be a world champion although that would be awesome but more so because she's going to be a really hot girl like her mom and i really want her to be able to fight off of her back especially and anybody who knows anything about martial arts jujitsu that is the martial art that you want a girl to know someone puts you on your back that is where they're going to be most dangerous right Oh, oh, look at that. So position that a rapist might put themselves in is called the guard, okay? The worst place that you can be for a trained practitioner of jujitsu. So go ahead, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Try to get aggressive with one of my daughters and see what happens, especially Giselle. So anyway, uh, today she got in a fight, okay? She got in a fight. She got in an actual fight with a dude, okay? A guy attacked her, scratched her face, punched her, kicked her, pulled her hair, like went full throttle, like like he actually fought my daughter. Now, like I said, the jiu-jitsu school that we go to, it's a Caesar Gracie school, uh, and anyway, bottom line, no one's gonna help her, okay? So this, to us, looked like an opportunity to see where she's at, right? Like, at first she's complaining that he's kicking her and punching her, whatever, and we were like, I said, hey Giselle, how's he gonna be able to kick you if he's unconscious? And, uh, and the coach's wife was like, control his legs, Giselle. And so she very quickly realized like, yeah, no one's gonna intervene here. Like you're on your own. This kid wants to fight, fight him, subdue him. So he's eight years old also. He's the same age as her. He's, he weighs a lot more and he's a boy, right? He takes jujitsu. He doesn't, I mean, he's one of these kids that like, if I'm being totally frank, I don't want to pretend like this kid is like a high level jujitsu practitioner. He's in jujitsu. He's been in it longer than Giselle, but he doesn't listen, okay? His sister is very good. But he just like, he's a spaz, okay? The kind of spaz that would spaz out and attack uh, someone that he's rolling with. So, but the point is he's going full throttle, okay? So I got to see what would happen if my daughter got in a fight at school. I mean, just straight up, my daughter got in a fight with a boy going full throttle at school, the boy has no chance. Like just straight up, that is where she's at now. The boy has no chance. She took him down, she key locked him. He tapped, he immediately attacked her again, she arm barred him. Done, like he had no chance against her, none. Like there's nothing he could have done. He tried to punch her, couldn't do anything, tried to kick her, couldn't do anything. She subdued him and tapped him out twice. Like if they're in the street or in, you know, in the playground, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if, uh, you know, if an eight year old really has the torque to actually really seriously injure. I mean, she could, for sure with the key lock, she could injure him. You know, the arm bar questionable, he tapped, but the key lock, she could injure him for sure. On top of which there was, uh, there are some new kids in the class now and you know, most of the kids that Giselle trains with, like I said, are like like exceptional practitioners, like kids that I watch and I'm like, God damn, these kids are good, man. And there finally are some new kids, like newer kids, you know, that, that came in after Giselle. And so she rolled with one of them today and the kid went after her, Giselle took her back, strangled her, okay? That she, they, you know, whatever, Giselle took her back, strangled her. Okay? Again, took her back, strangled her. Like literally took her back, rear naked choked this girl three times in, I mean, in, from the minute that they like, they got engaged, Giselle pulled guard and strangled her, I mean, no more than seven seconds every time. Once they were engaged and Giselle pulled guard seven seconds before the girl was in a full rear naked choke. And I was like, wow, this is incredible to watch. Like my daughter is a legit, like she's, she's good, right? She also, well, the other thing is so she belt advanced, right? And I think there was something about that in her mind where like she thought that she wasn't good and then they actually gave her a stripe and like, you know, so whatever. I mean, these like belt advancements at Caesar's place are not, they don't just give them away, you know, like you have to be good. And I think there's something about that that like, she's like, oh, I'm good. Cause she started rolling with this other girl who's been doing it for a long time, who's way bigger than her that always beats the shit out of Giselle and Giselle beat her today. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And all the kids kept like, all the older kids are like, dude, your daughter's good now. It's like, <sighs> so if you're an older person, okay. And you have kids, I literally cannot stress enough. Put your kids in jujitsu, but don't just throw them in some whatever school. Okay. Don't like go to like the low and listen, I'm not going to pretend that I had some like 
genius expertise on this. Okay, like all my fight stuff, I've been very, very lucky. Like where, where I trained in Muay Thai and stuff and kickboxing in San Diego, I just stumbled into what ended up being Dean Lister's gym. Okay, like there was no like rhyme or reason. I just dumb luck. In this case, how I got introduced to this place ended up being a dude who was a Navy SEAL. He didn't even tell me he was a Navy SEAL and ended up being the purple belt world champion. And he's just, his kid is on my daughter's swim team. That's how we ended up there. But yeah, so she's in a camp of killers and with amazing coaches. And I'm telling you, like, I can't explain to you what it feels like to be the father of a daughter and know I don't have to worry about her. Like, I don't have to worry about it. I'm not saying like at age eight, she's got, she knows everything. But what I'm saying is I, at age eight, I can tell you 100% that there is not a kid in her school class that can fuck with her at all. Like they, they were, none of them would have any chance against her. Absolutely none, no chance, zero, 100%. After today, I can say that decisively, any kind of untrained kid has fucking no chance against her. None, fucking none. Untrained kid, 20 pounds, no fucking chance. None, no chance, okay? And I saw her take getting scratched and kicked and punched today and it didn't phase her at all. So even if they sucker punch her, they're fucked. They have no chance. They have no fucking chance against her. None, absolutely no fucking chance, okay? I, I mean, look, you guys have probably, I mean, anybody who's gonna watch this dumb video has probably seen who I'm married to, so you know, Look how I'm wired, and I know I'm going to be father to daughters that are going to look like that. What do you think that does to my psyche? Thinking about dudes trying to, you know, creep ass fucking dudes. Because, you know, daughters tend to gravitate towards people that remind them of their dad. Now, I am a unique animal, okay? Like, if you look at me, I look like a total savage, which I am. However, I am a refined savage. Like, I work in aerospace. I'm a normal person, okay? There are lots of people that look like me that wouldn't be like that, right? So I worry about that. It's like, dude, is my daughter going to bring home some fucking animal that she thinks is like daddy who's not like daddy because basically no one's like daddy. But now I don't have to worry about that shit because unless she met him at a fucking jujitsu gym, the guy's got no fucking chance if he presses up on her. If he swings on her, she'll break his arm. She tries to, he tries to push up on her, she'll fucking submit him and put him unconscious. Like, So here's the other thing. My five-year-old didn't like jujitsu and uh, yeah, that just doesn't matter anymore. Like she's going in jujitsu class. That's what I realized. Like I let her, I let her kind of not train because she was so young, but you know, it's still, she's five. She's a little bit young. When she's six, she's going in class, period. There's just, there's just no conversation about it. She's going to learn to fucking fight like her sister. Her sister comes by it naturally, but she's going to learn to fight. Bet your fucking life on that. So yeah, I am very proud. I am a very, very proud father right now. My daughter is the toughest kid in her class and will continue to be that way because she's going to continue to train jiu-jitsu forever. She loves it. Like, she loves it, okay? So I'm telling you, if you have kids, put your kids in fucking jiu-jitsu. Just do it, do it, do it. But don't just put your kids in jiu-jitsu. I take Giselle to jiu-jitsu every single day. Every fucking day. Every fucking day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Every single day. Sometimes Friday, she goes at least four days a week. Sometimes Saturday. At least, well, this week she's gonna have private. So like, she goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 100% of the time. Sometimes private lessons on Saturday and sometimes Friday also. So she goes four days, absolutely bare minimum, sometimes up to six. And I'm telling you, so you have to invest the time. If you're a father, like you have to put in the time. You have to be the one that takes them there, watch their practices, sit there, work while you're there. It is fucking worth it, okay? My daughter can take care of herself. My daughter's gonna always be able to take care of herself. I never have to worry about her getting attacked again. I'm telling you, I can't explain to you like this. If I'm, if this seems like a joke, like a joke video, it's not. Okay. I saw her get attacked by a boy today, and she fucking won decisively. A boy that's bigger than her, decisively, who was fighting her full throttle, decisively. So, and he's in fucking jujitsu class. He actually knows some shit. She still fucked him up. So, these untrained animals, she. You know, she was in a private lesson a couple weeks ago and I was talking to Cam about it and like, and this is, well, it was a few weeks, I don't know, whatever. Her, I was talking to her coach about it and I was saying, cause like, you could just tell she's like, she was timid. She's not anymore. And, and I was saying something about what about, you know, like how, how much weight could someone like, what's, what's the weight differential where someone could overpower her? And he was like, no one's overpowering her, bro. And I was like, no one. He's like, fucking no one. He's like, when she, by the time she's in, in that age, how good she is now, by the time she's 15, 16, there's there is no weight differential that'll help anyone. She'll strangle them. I was like, Phew. and I didn't believe it. Now I do.
Now I do. I believe it 100%. So put your kids in fucking jujitsu. That's the moral of the story. Anyway, if you like the content, subscribe and ring the bell. Peace.